He gets the signal to put it down. And he's taking it for a walk. What a quick pickup that was. And Poundstone's back on track. He turns at the 250 mark, goes past Hollands and Ortmeier. Can Poundstone finish on the fifth? I've been training like a nut. I will not take second again. Our next pairing are the two favourites for many here. Michael Kuklaev of Russia, who's come over to the world's strongest man scene for the first time up against Derek Poundstone. Very friendly rivalry here. Kokhlaev, though, gets a slower pickup than Poundstone, who really is on great form at the moment. Second at World's Strongest Man last year, Mohegan Sun champion. And it's definitely Derek at the turn. He's going to beat Brian Shaw's time. Oh, he's gone down, though. What a quick pickup that was. And Poundstone's back on track. He takes it. 21.95, 100 feet. And Kokhlaev is in all kinds of trouble down the other end. Misha Kuklaev, no, 60.7 feet. You dropped it once, but you're still in first place. You won it. That was unbelievable. You must have thought when you dropped it, it, it was probably over your chances of winning it, right? Uh, no, no, I knew I, I have some pretty quick feet. I've been training like a nut since September. I will not take second again. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> You know, it's, this is my worst event, so the rest gets fun. Worst, first event, always the worst event. This is the worst event for me. It's all downhill from here. Well, if that was going to be his worst event, the others are in trouble. Poundstone on top, Shaw second, Ortmeier third. It's America one, two, three, with Mark Felix of Britain in fourth. So event two is the Apollon's axle. You have to lift this bar up. And this handle here is as thick as a Coke can, up to your chest and press it overhead to straight arm. It weighs 166 kilos, the opening weight. That's way over 350 pounds. And we're gonna go for a world record tonight. 186 kilos, that's over 407 pounds. Derek Poundstone then, last out at this uh, new world record level. We know we have to go heavier now because Ortmar and Arho have made it. Can Poundstone join them? Yes, locks out the left arm. He said he was worth at least 20 pounds more than this, and uh, he seems to be right. Poundstone nails the 409. Difficult now for the judges. What weight do they choose? Who wants to see the world record extended? You want. So, D Derek, you've managed to equal the world record there. A few of you have. How much more do you think you have in the tank? I told you before, 427, the full apparatus. <laughs> you really think so? I don't know what everyone else can do. I know I can do it. All right, let's bring it on. Let's check this weight up. Poundstone, 45 seconds in which to do this. And if anyone can do it, it's definitely Derek Poundstone in front of his home crowd on their feet. 414 pounds. Yes, it goes overhead. He gets the signal to put it down. And he's taking it for a walk. No problem. The new world record holder on his own. Derek Poundstone, 414. I thought you were going to take it for a walk there. Yeah, well, you know, I, I always appreciate the fans. That's what I, uh, that's why I do this, you know. <laughs> that's what makes all the pain in the gym worth it, you know, when people come out and yell and scream. So, two events, one world record. Can you keep this streak going? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of good athletes, but I feel good. Like I said before, I won the Arnold a couple months ago, and I was not the best shape. I'm in the best shape of my life now, because, uh, the last thing I want to do is lose in my own backyard. Well done, Derek Poundstone, world record holder.
Derek Poundstone, two out of two, and a world record to boot. But what a show from Johannes Arho. Great day for the young Swede who sits in second with Ortmar. Overall, Derek Poundstone on top by three and a half points. Ortmar in second, Shaw in third. America, one, two, three. Derek Poundstone, so popular here. A local policeman and the world number one in strongman. Pudzianowski tore his bicep earlier in the season, not doing the Giants live season because of that. And Johannes Arho, the new upcoming strongman. Both of these guys fit and athletic. And you can see Derek has a bit of a technique for picking it up there. And one thing he does is he just moves as fast as he can, Poundstone. Tries to go as far as possible before he gets tired. Passes the 100-foot mark. So too Arho. 150 feet. He's going to have to go down and up again if he's going to equal the likes of Ortmeier and Hollands. Still looks strong, though. The crowd getting behind him here. Arho's gone down 182.2 feet. He turns at the 250 mark, goes past Hollands and Ortmeier, and he was good for at least 50 feet more. Poundstone takes his third event. Derek Poundstone, 265.9 feet. First place again, Ortmeier second, Hollands of Britain third place. And Hollands needed that, that brings him up to sixth. And you can see the top eight who move forward from that last event. And if Poundstone beats him now in this one of his favorite events, I think he'll have to say Poundstone is just the better man at the moment. Oh, someone there just shouting out, give me 20, Derek. And all he's got to do is get 18 for the victory. Look at the vascularity, carrying very little body fat. Looking very like uh, Marius Pudzianowski, previous winner of the Mohegan Sun. 15 reps, getting closer to that golden 18. That's all he needs for the victory, 17. He's done it, 18 reps. He, he's giving more, 19. 20 reps. He's enjoying this. A man in peak condition. So our new leader, 20 repetitions, Derek. You are on fire, my friend. There isn't a single event here you're struggling with. Your back, your back, as you said, it's as, it's better than anyone's now. It must feel good to be at the peak of your career right now it feels good i i think uh i'm just scratching the surface you know it's this sport is more mental than anything because i'm not the biggest guy out here got the biggest heart you know i think i kill myself in training got a great family a great girlfriend and uh, who asked for 20 reps that was for you whoever asked for it you know Fourth event, and again it goes to Derek Poundstone. Ortmeier gets second, equal with Louis-Philippe Jean. Mark Felix, disappointment for him. Fourth place in a deadlift, he's normally first. So Poundstone in the lead, Ortmeier second, Shaw third, the Canadian fourth, and it's Sweden in fifth. <laughs> Someone calling for 10 there. Louis-Philippe Jean. This is a very good event for the Canadian. I think he could push Poundstone here. Well, he's first to, to getting it overhead, but Poundstone was more clinical. Poundstone doesn't even rest it on his shoulders. Look at the power. Up it comes, and he just keeps pressing it. A very unique technique, and that needs some wild power to pull off. Jean does three. 
Poundstone up on five. Surely Derek can do seven. Equals Ortmeier and Arho. This one for the victory again. Oh. And as easy as the first one. Jean does five. Up goes eight. <laughs> These are just for show now. Can he get a ninth? Time running out. Jean does six, and that is quite a crucial rep to do. Poundstone finishes on nine, and Jean manages to tie with Johannes and Travis Ortmar. Look at the technique of Poundstone. Bang! Straight off the waist, up over the chest. Doesn't rest it at all. It's, I want, give me one word about this guy. What do you think? It's, I want to be like that next year. <laughs> I could train forever. I'd never be like that. Derek, man, five out of five. Let's talk about the stones. Six out of six. Is it possible? Oh, yeah, it's possible. You know, you have an advantage when, you're, when you have a lead because it gives you a different mindset. I'm used to coming from behind. You know, anyone that knows me knows that we just tend to screw up an event here and there. Today I'm firing on all cylinders. The crowd definitely helps out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Now, Derek, last year, no one did these stones. This year, no one did them in Madison Square Garden either. Please, are you going to do them for us, all five, the heaviest set ever this year? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I know I can do it. Hopefully it's a race. Hope these guys have a, a little bit of fuel left in the tank. We put on a show for you guys. Have you a stone series ever, so you guys got to be nice and loud for us. If you don't, if you don't do it, Ormar says he certainly will. <laughs> oh, I know Travis. He's a good stone loader, but I think I got him today. Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> hey, listen, let's hear it for Derek. Five out of five. So Poundstone way out on his own on nine reps. He really is in a class of his own. Jean, Arho and Ortmeier all on six. And that's done Arho some favors. He hangs on to fifth. Louis-Philippe Jean though jumps to third position. And there's a real battle for second, third and fourth. Derek Poundstone, the Hegan Sun champion last year. He will be champion again this year. Up against Travis Ortmeier. These two guys pretty much settled as first and second now. This is more about pride. Poundstone always says it's in his name. He is the best stone lifter, but Ortmar calls himself the stone man, and he's leading right now. Up goes three. Poundstone trying to keep up. This looks like being the first event Poundstone can lose. He's won five out of five, but this is all Ortmar. The Texas Stone Man has done it, and in a time of 26.18 seconds, totally pumped. And can Poundstone finish on the fifth? Oh, just a couple of inches away. But unlike World's Strongest Man, when he uh, just missed the podium by a couple of inches, with the fifth stone, this time it doesn't matter because he is the Mohegan Sun champion. He doesn't need to do it. Four stones in 24 seconds. And Derek Poundstone is the champion again. What a performance, Derek. You must be loving this. A great day on home soil. Absolutely. I couldn't ask for anything better, you know. Uh, you know, if I just went into this last event, I mean, having already sewn it up, all I want to do is load that last stone. I missed it before. Missed it in Madison Square Garden, missed it here last year, so that's all I wanted. Nah, it sucks, you know. Hey, hey, can you win World's Strongest Man this year? Oh, absolutely. That's why I'm uh, out here doing this. Uh, I want to, you know, you don't compete to lose. I want to win it this year, you know, no more second places. Atlas Stones and Ortmeier takes honors this time. First man to ever do all five stones. Poundstone, though, right behind in second place, and he's way out in front. One point off the maximum 60. Poundstone first, Ortmeier second, Shaw in third.